Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome to Lands of Lore, the Throne of Chaos. Uh, this is a game by Westwood Studios, probably well known for Command and Conquer, especially Red Alert series. And it is got a game that was lost to time because not many people actually talk about it, even though at one point it was actually compared to something as Ultima series, which actually nobody talks about either anymore, so, you know, it kind of makes sense. Uh, this is actually one... Well, this was one of my favorite games of all time when I was much younger, because this is a game, again, from 1993. And, yes. We are gonna see whether the game is still as good as it's supposed to be. Also, there is no music in menu, but I will be playing... Um, I'll be playing the intro introduction. Hey Wolfie, uh, fucking damn it! You had to start just when I replied to a fan. I was waiting for your stream, dude. I literally start every single time at the same time. You have nothing to you have nothing to wonder there, man. But yeah, we are gonna play the introduction, which actually is gonna have music and such, and hopefully I manage to catch uh, the audio correctly. So yeah, I'm gonna shut up. Virgin Interactive Entertainment presents the Westwood Studios production of Lands of Lore, The Throne of Chaos. My liege, it is as we feared. Scotia has uncovered the temple and will have the Nether Mask soon. We must be ready for her. She will come here first. But Richard, what worry have we here at Gladstone? Surely we can arrange a defense against any charades. The mask is not a toy. The time has come, and I have no choice. I must destroy her now. So long! I want it now! You're an holiness! <laughs> you will not make me wait again! Ah, it's a pretty little package! At last! Richard and his puny forces have met their match! Ah, I like this. Ah, ah. Yes, this mask will serve me well. Beware, King Richard. You will pay for your lack of vision. My god, this game is so 90s, I love it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is uh, Lands of Lore. 
Also, those are quite made uh, cutscenes. Well, this is Westwood, you know. Westwood was literally the kings of making cutscenes back in the day, you know. So, they are probably much more well known for their, you know, FMV stuff, you know, the full motion video stuff in their games like Red Alert or, you know, Command and Conquer. But they have done a lot of, like, like, if you play Dune 2, uh, they actually do have some really nice uh, cutscenes there. Also, the music in this game is actually made by Frank Lepatsky. I hope I pronounced that right. Who made the music for basically the entirety of Command and & Conquer and Dune. So, wow. You can tell the music. But yes, we are gonna start a new game. Please don't crash. I have need of a champion. Who among you will volunteer to serve me in this matter? So this is an RPG, as I've mentioned. Uh, at the beginning, you pick one of the four characters. Uh, I'm gonna be playing the Canon character, uh, because there is a sequel to this game, who sadly is actually the worst. Have you decided? Oh God, King, I'm sorry. So this is Axel. Do my looks frighten you? Magic runs strong amongst my people. I may not seem as strong as the others, but I'm more adept with the magic of the lands. Yeah, we are not gonna be playing as Axel. No. Then there's Michael. Let's not have any fooling around here. Strong is strong. Trust your instincts on this one. I'm the best fighter of the bunch. A natural. Nope. We are not gonna be playing as Michael. Then there's Conrad. I'm the most well-rounded champion for your cause. Face it. With all the dangers in the land, you need someone with my adaptability. And then there's Kieran. Strength. Magics. <laughs> what good is it all if you can't dodge blows? I'm fast. Quick. Go with these lodestones if you plan to plot along. But if you want to win this quest, better pick me. So, I'm gonna be playing as Kieran because Kieran is the, the canonical hero. But... The problem with playing as Kira is he's basically the hard mode of the game. So expect me to die a lot. So yeah, let's go! Excellent! Settle your affairs and attend me in the throne room for instructions. Don't crash. Oh god, don't crash. <gasps> Every single time I'm like Welcome shitting myself. Keep. King Richard awaits you in the throne room. Okay. So, um, this game is very similar to something like uh, if you've played uh, Dungeon Master or Eye of Beholder. You know, you have a grid-based. Garen, where are you not summoned to see the king? I'm sorry, Go dude. Straight north into the throne room. I'm sorry, man. So you have a grid-based map on which you move. You can either use the thing here, which is terrible, or you use your numpad, which is much easier, but it's also much you know easier to fuck up. Uh, the entirety of the game is basically this small screen here. On the left, we will have our magic in the future. Right now, we only have one spell, which is the spell Kieran starts with, which is Spark. Uh, on the right, we will have all of our menus, which we, by the way, right now don't have. Which is funny. You have to actually gain your menus. And I kind of like that. It's kind of a nice touch. Uh, this is your character. Uh, next to it is his mana. Next to it is his HP. Uh, you press this button to attack, and this is the magic. Uh, you can also open inventory of your character, you have all of the stats important, you level up in this game, you know, blah blah blah, it's RPG. And that's basically it, there's your inventory, here you move, here you sleep, because you actually do need to rest in order to heal, and this is your menu. Also, I'm probably gonna leave it all like it is. I'm, I'm, I would rather change it for me. Ooh, text. Yeah, let's let's turn the text on. Resume game and let's go. Um, by the way, this game is hard as balls, and I'm playing on hard mode already. In later stage it, stages, I might have to put the game on easy mode because holy shit, this game is hard. This game will wreck you. Even if you play like some, someone like Conrad, who is actually a really good character. A very important I need the best fighter. Take a cat with a shirt, dagger, and no gold whatsoever. What could go wrong? Ooh, that's actually funny. See, this is no gold. These are silver crowns. And it just so happens that over here we still have crowns. 
Hey Raven, so you have been here for the testing and then for the game itself. Royal Herborium. Royal Herborium. something if scotia does attack they say we won't hear a thing quickly now point out what you need so yeah uh this is one of the shops gold meaning money in general yeah i understand i just wanted to point it out that there's crowns in this i oversee everything nope no pants so yeah, if with this guy you can buy he you know, potions, you can you can buy some ginseng, you know, some tea leaves and shit. Uh, we are not gonna be buying anything from him. I will talk to him though. They say the ruby and the shard are the only means of opposing the nether mask. Yeah. Farewell then. At this point, you have no idea what the fuck are these characters even talking about, especially if you have not read the manual. By the way, this game is like one of the best manuals ever. Tapestries bring some warmth to the keep. Also, you can touch like almost anything in the game. The eagle is Richard's mascot, and everything has voice acting, and I love it. Also, voice there's sh like in general shit tons of voice acting in this game. They did not save money on voice acting. Also, I am already gonna make a save. Stream. Oh, oh no! I get a typo. One. Um. One. <laughs> I can't put numbers there. Uh, by the way, if you touch this, you know, Kieran, you know, will mention it. Fine swords. Impressive decorations. And then you can click it again, and he actually cuts him. He actually cuts himself on it. And you know what's really funny? Sharp, too. You can actually Sharp. kill yourself on it. Sharp, Sharp. <laughs> we have officially died before we even started the game. You know this is a Westwood game, especially with something like Legend of Kyrendia. By the way, expect that game. Oh, Legend of Kyrendia is like one of my favorite games of all time. So yeah, <laughs> let's go back. Here lies Kirin. He was chosen to be a hero and he died by rubbing himself on a sword too much. Victor Glaston, Royal Armorer. Ooh, this guy is gonna be important. Oh, so you come to see Victor, afraid of Scotia's new toy. Ha ha ha, why afraid? Look at Victor, myself could use a shape changer. Ha 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 Cause of death, admire the decorative sword show too much. Victor what you want to buy. Maybe you show Victor what you sell, okay? Okay, so we want to buy this. Excellent weapon! 125 crowns. But we don't have the money for it. You have a thing to sell, Victor? You again come visit, no? So basically we need to go here and we need to sell him a lot of shit. In order to get that sword, because that sword is amazing. It, it does shit tons of damage. Baron Erebroth, Royal Chamberlain. What's his surname? Jaren Erebrot. Okay. The door is locked. Oh, we cannot go there yet. The old tapestries glow with age. The forest below appears tranquil. The kingdom looks deceptively peaceful. Yeah, peaceful, but immediately when we leave, we are gonna get fucking mauled by everything that exists and doesn't exist. I always wonder, why can't you just take one of those swords uh, and just equip it? Because they are ornamental. You know, they are not actually, you know, like good weapons. The early Talamari were mounted warriors. Again, there's a lot of... I, I know that's gonna be funny considering, you know, this game is called Lands of Lore, but... There's actually a lot of lore that's in the background of this game that you actually need to read outside of the game. <laughs> this one has a kill already, yeah. Can't be that bad. Richard's great-grandfather Ludwig. Ludwig. Okay, we need to go to the king. We have been good enough to commit Sudoku. His royal majesty awaits you in the throne room. Aye. We need to press the button. I tell you, we must march with whatever troops can be gathered locally. Isn't Eric mustering his white army? Have we lost all confidence in our own military capabilities? 
Eric is the finest commander in the kingdom, but he is a five-day march from here. As long as we have our own magic, I really don't see where we need more than the defenses we already have in place. Scotia is not an adversary to be taken lightly. Ah, Kira. Kira! I'm the threat from Scotia. <laughs> I have an urgent need for the Ruby of Truth. Please retrieve it from Roland's estate in the Southland and return it to Gladstone. Here is a key to my private library. Among the books, you will find a magic atlas that should be of assistance on your journey. Come by my office before you leave the key. I'll give you a writ that will identify you as being on official business for His Highness. See, it's funny you mentioned that there's also... Um, um, let's just say that there's also sci-fi shit in it. You, you will see. Also, as we walk by... These guards walk in. It, it, it's a Westwood game, you know. It's it, Honestly, it would not be as famous as it was back in the day. If it was just another fantasy game. And so it came to pass that the ancient people of Gladstone, having discovered a method of controlling the magics, rose unto power amongst the barbarous tribes of the Great Wasteland. For my part, I travel not to go anywhere, but to go. I travel for travel's sake. That is actually kind of true. You should travel for travel for travel's sake itself. For learning. Never drink from underground waters. These will corrupt the heart and taint the mind. Many a twisted soul met its fate through unwise drinking. Indeed. And medieval fantasy game with laser bosses, decorative swords you can kill yourself with. Yeah, doesn't that sound like Westwood? Totally. And this is our map. Yes, we, we have our Magic first menu. Atlas. We have our first menu. Oh my god, we have a map. What is this? So the cool thing is, uh, the map actually fills itself. You don't have to do anything with it. It, it just fills itself. Which is such a nice change as compared to something like uh, Dungeon Master or Eye of Beholder, where you have to literally make your own map on like uh, a sheet of paper. Okay, we need to go to Jaren. Oh, it's you. The impending storm attracts all you would be heroes. Now, I suppose you want your writ. Just listen to his music, so good. Even the beasts seek shelter. What are you waiting for? Be gone. This guy doesn't like us. He's a dick. If I want you to touch something of mine, I'll ask <gasps> Um, uh, loot? Loot? Um, uh, goodbye. If you need help, mayhap that rascal Timothy is at the Grey Eagle. Oh god, Jaren, aren't you like 8 million years old? Jesus fucking Christ. We, we have not even started our adventure and already an old man is hitting on us. Okay, so I'm actually gonna make a save here. Stream 1. And the moment we step out of this door... Uh, we can die very easily. So let's do it. So welcome to the Northland Forest. We are looking for stuff. And speaking of stuff, there's a weather dagger, a swarm. The nest is empty. Also, it's a really good idea to pay attention to what's around you. So that you can t you can touch things. Because touching things sometimes gives you things. The nest is empty. You can die fairly easily even before leaving through this door, that's actually true. You just have to rub your face on decorative swords. Okay, so the, over there is uh, the castle. The Gladstone. Oh, sorry, keep, not, not a castle. They're not far enough on technological level yet. Another weather dagger. By the way, weather daggers are they good. Can I do wield? No. No, they are shit. We can probably throw them. Ooh, there's, 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 a, there's a brigand. Aloe. Delicious aloe. 
Is that a pseudo bushy, a huge of flora? Oh, Jesus, there it is. Oh, God. It's dead. Oh, my God, we killed it. We need to return back to King Richard. A pig almost killed us. King Richard. The pigs. You may pass. So we're actually gonna return here, literally just to rest, because resting is a free way to heal. And this is one of the only areas in the game that's actually safe. Okay, let's go back and in, into the fray again. But So you just saw me fighting a fucking boar, and the boar almost killed me. As you can see, King, I'm sorry, but the boars you got it are too strong. I can't make it. <laughs> Lake Dread is much too cold for swimming this time of year. Okay. Okay, so there's like Dread. What a, what a beautiful name for a lake. There is nothing in the hall. Is that a pseudo bushy, a huge flora? <laughs> I, I, I don't even understand that joke. The nest is empty. The sack is empty too. But that's the darkest dungeon joke. Okay. Hmm. Oh, this. What would a beautiful young woman be doing on a road like this? Excuse me, lad. Are you with King Richard? I need to get into the keep and I have forgotten the password. May I go in with you? I'm sorry, miss, but these are dangerous times. Timid fool. I will not forget you. Did you forgot to take King's money off the blacksmith? Wait, what did you say? Did he ever say that I'm supposed to get money from the blacksmith? I don't remember that. <laughs> There is nothing in the hollow. Hollow. Ooh, swarm. And a stick. So do useless daggers. Well, yes, but we are not gonna do that just. Fuck. Hey, you! I'm taking your money! I'm not taking the money! We are gonna murder this dude. Or attempt to. You won't get my money without a fight. <sighs> Oof. Okay, we m managed to murder him. The king! King, there's brigands! King! Oh my god, king, there's, there's brigands in your forest! Why is this forest so shit? Where's the guards? You may pass. You may pass. So this guy, uh, he actually used to be uh, copy protection. Hello, General Baz. Welcome to the stream. I hope you will enjoy it. How much is your healing? One HP. I d healing in this game is kind of bad until you get the healing spell, which actually turns the whole game into uh, basically you use the healing forever. <laughs> okay, where's the dude? Excellent weapon. You again come to see Victor. Okay. I have just seen Scotia. She turned into a bird and flew away. Maybe you go tell Jaren. Hidden heal type of gameplay. Yes. Fine work, except for Rust Spot. Five crown. Okay. Ooh, actually, we want to keep one dagger. You need for sale that? Oh, yeah, we definitely want to sell these. You need for sale? Yes. Ooh, do we... See, I don't want to... I don't want to sell, like, healing stuff. Because, you know, healing stuff is literally keeping me alive. You again come visit. No? No? Okay, let's go back. Actually, let's go... Let's, let's go try to tell Jaren about this. Can you actually sell the paper? Uh, I'm pretty sure you cannot. Why are you back here so soon? The king will be most displeased. I have just seen Scotia. She turned into a bird and flew away. What? The king sends you on an important task, and you return here telling stories. Our security will never let her in. 
<laughs> Jaron is such an idiot. Get out. Do not return without the ruby. Oh my god, Jaron. <laughs> He's like a meme. Uh, this is my number one nostalgia game. The very first game I ever bought. Uh, actually, I... See, I... I I do have a really big uh, soft spot for this game in my heart. I don't think it's like the best game ever made, but it's definitely really good, and I I, I think it's really good. And there was a bird right next to Jaren. Yeah, J yeah, that's actually Scotia. And the funny thing is, like, your character would know at this point, but you cannot do anything with the bird, which is it's kind of silly, but a. Hey. Man, this is why I love streaming on Friday, because... Oh, we do not want to go there. That's uh, progression. But yeah, like, I love streaming on Friday, because on Friday... There's some screen tearing. Is there? I'm looking at this... I'm looking at the thing. I'm looking at the stream right now. Ooh, there is. Ooh. Oh, that's kind of bad. It's not on my end, though. That's like in entirely on Twitch. Twitch cannot handle this game, what the hell? Holy shit. It, oh, wow, I didn't expect Twitch to not be able to hand handle freaking Lands of Lore. Well, I'm sorry, I cannot really do anything about it, guys. Uh, do you look live when you are an important character talking to an idiotic adventurer? Yes. Ooh, there's a rock. Rocks are gonna be very important. Again, it's an old game and Twitch probably... ...is not exactly made to handle something like this. Well, I thought uh, that's not a bug, but a feature. Nope, that's actually a bug. That actually... Too heavy. That actually doesn't even happen on my end. Ooh, I think this is where the people are. Ooh, this is gonna be one hell of a fight, by the way. Why are thugs guarding that cave? Yeah, this is gonna be one hell of a fight. This is where we die. Hey! Get out of here! Oh Jesus. What have I done? I'm- I'm dead. Ooh, you need to right-click, I forgot. Holy shit! Holy shit, how did I survive that? Oh no! <laughs> already, already we got into a situation where I almost exploded. I have only two problems with this game, the weird difficulty curve and unfinished final dungeon. Oh Jesus, yeah, the final dungeon is actually kinda, uh, kinda meh. Like, it's not super bad, but, uh, I understand what you mean. The herbs. The herbs, too OP. See, I don't want to be using them. Pass. You may pause. Because there's gonna be boss fights in- Okay, there's actual boss fights in this game and they're hard as fucking balls. You again? Here. You need for sale yes. Oh, I need like- I need like four. Four crowns. <sighs> You need to <sighs> sell that? Okay, my I don't friend. want it though. Five crowns. No, I need four crowns. That's not worth anything. <laughs> Do you don't want a rock? Maybe you have something else. No, we will need we will need a dagger to throw. We we, we need we needed to like throw at switches and shit. Oh, but I don't want to. I don't want to do Wait, I have a dagger! Oh you are correct! Fine I can sew this dagger! I can buy the sword! Excellent weapon. weapon. One hundred and twenty. It's worth it. Trust me. This is a good sword. You again come visit. You again come visit. No. I have one crown. I have one crown. Oh, 
What an upgrade, holy shit. It's like almost double the damage. I could touch this once and explode, by the way. Okay. Karen is also the hardest character for starting, but scales really well. Yeah, he's basically hard mode for the early game, but then scales... I think he scales the best of all characters. So, like, you have, like, a hard time for, like, 50% of the game, but then you have the best character in the game. Well, that's the only reason why I'm actually playing him, is uh, because he's the canon character to, you know, do the Lands of Lore. By the way, never expect Lands of Lore 2. I cannot get it to work. My copy of the game just doesn't fucking work. My CD doesn't work. Like, my CD of the game legitimately just doesn't fucking run anymore. Which is really sad. Okay. Let's go into the cave. Later on, Bakata is the weirdest in terms of scaling. I don't even remember Bakata scaling. I know he's really good at magic. We cave now. So this is a great mage, but then skills awful mage are great in fighting. Oh, that's how it works, okay. I'm spooked. There it is. A lantern. Okay, so this is your time limit, basically. Oh, I, I, I got a dagger anyway. So this is basically your time limit in the game. You Basically, this thing needs oil. And there's a finite amount of oil in the game. Uh, rubbish. Uh, rubbish. There are silver coins. Two silver coins. Okay. So is there anything that changes with the plates? Oh, that's how. Hmm. I think I need to put like more than just one. That's strange. Oh, I'm stupid. I was not putting it on there. stick Wow stick is not heavy enough Really Hmm By the way I would like to mention I legitimately don't remember the shit out of this game Holy shit! <laughs> I just lost the dagger! <laughs> hmm... Oh! Oh! Ha ha ha! Hmm... Locked. This does not seem to be the way to open it. Ooh, I need lockpicks. I don't have lockpicks. I know the whole game by heart if you need puzzle spoilers. I have not played the game in ages, so maybe I will need them. Ooh. Do I get... Do I get... Uh... Oh wait, I probably need to break this. Give me a second. Where intelligence doesn't work, violence does. There's lockpicks. There we go. So I basically keep all of my healing on the left side if possible and all of the random shit on the right side. Oh. 
I don't know, I press everything. Oh shit. I'm stupid. Ah, it's like I've never played these games. It's like I've never played these games. Oh, uh, god damn it. Always check the map before you before you start, you know, smashing things. Oh my god, I'm so happy I didn't. Holy shit, that's a full heal. And that's a salve. Ten crown. And money. Mm. And now I'm gonna break it. Playing this game is like a yearly tradition. That's an amazing tradition. You, you, you guys have no idea how hard this actually was to get to work. Like, you would think that you would just hook it to those box and it will work. But it's not that easy. Okay, safe. So, where's the castle of Keep? I might actually make this. You may pass. I'm actually really enjoying this. I might make this like a, a series. Yeah. Then again, I'm not sure anyone would actually watch it. Like, I love this game, but you know, it's probably not very fun to watch. Do you have a shirt? Yeah, he does have a shirt. I streamed this game once uh, years ago, and it worked with uh, X Split screen grab back then. Uh, I don't have X Split. I have OBS. And it wasn't really, uh, the streaming part wasn't actually a problem. The biggest problem was actually getting this game to work with DOSBox. That was the problem. See, I think like the easiest thing would be to just buy the game on GOG and I heard that that just works, you know, it just works straight up. But I kind of want to use my original version of the game, you know, from back then. Because it still works, because it's a floppy, you know. Games on floppies work. And on CD with the thingies, you know, with the cinematics and shit. And with voice acting and music. You again? Change. I had no issues with either CD or GOG. Yeah, again, I presume the GOG, the GOG version works. Like, no problems. Or maybe I just suck. I don't know. You need a five. Contact. Fine work. Except for Rust Spot. Ooh. Healing on the left side. Rocks. Yeah, those books is strange. Oh, by the way, just because I'm actually streaming another those books game doesn't mean that Settlers 2 is kill. You again? It is gonna return. No. It's just gonna like these nostalgic games are gonna be returning on uh, usually Fridays or Sundays when I have a lot of time because these games need a lot of fumbling with te technical issues. Where a modern game, you know, you just start it and that's it. It works. Okay, time to leave the first area. At some point, I just wrote some .bad files to load working settings for each game. <laughs> oh god, that reminds me of the old days when we used those, like, actual DOS. <laughs> remember, guys, guys, I know that this is probably gonna make me sound really old, but do you remember, like, making a speci specific floppy? Just as a startup floppy, you know, you just put it in, in a, you know, you the thing, you know, in the floppy drive, and you start it just... So that, you know, everything sets itself, and you can just start the game. Ugh. Those were the days, man. Excuse me, I need to book passage to the Southland. Where's your money? I have a writ from the king. Where is it? Here. Well then, hurry and get on the boat. Man, for 93, that's some amazing pixel work. And new area. Stream two. Safe. Okay. So this area is much more difficult. Also, it's much bigger. And there's like many areas that we can actually go to. Just spam the F keys when starting my PC to get into settings back then. Ah. Uh, 
man, kids today do not understand what gaming was back in the day. You had to, you had to actually understand computers to be like play games. Okay, I'm scared. I remember there's some scary shit in here. Okay, can I do anything with that? Rock. I used those, but I was like four then. Don't expect me to to make floppy disks today. <laughs> I can hear it. I can hear the noise. Gonna do anything with that. Oh, there's our. Oh, awesome. Oh, this music. This music. It's like my childhood, man. <laughs> Let this old man enjoy his childhood shit. Oh, there they are. Orc. <gasps> That's a lot of orc. <sighs> Oof, we need to retreat. Retreat! Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh I forgot they shoot. Okay. Ouch. Oh god, that's a monster. That, 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 is, that is not a fun creature. We, we need to move, we need to move, we need to keep moving. Oh no, there's more. Ah. Oh, there's the inn. This looks cozy. <laughs> Look at his face. Uh, don't forget to use lots of magic, you will need to XP later. I know, I know. A gladiator monkey. Just listen, this is so good! Ah, so much 90s gaming music! Ah. Sorry. You can use F1, uh, F1, F3 and use your mouse for spamming rocks. I can promise you I will not remember that. Are you Timothy of Gladstone? No, I'm Tyrus! Tyrus! Please, don't bother my customers. Don't bother my customers. My wife won't let me keep those in the house. Yeah, the house. I hope those aren't barber's tools. <laughs> this is hotter than Victor's Forge. Then Victor's Forge is pretty fucking bad. This inn seems well supplied. I'd hate to have this fellow's wax bill. This room is occupied. Are you by chance Timothy of Gladstone? No, I am Philip. Timothy is the yellow-haired fellow over by the fire there. Thank you. I'm on an important mission for King Richard. Well, you're a brave young patriot, Sonny. Sonny? This magnet stone to guide you on your journey. Long live King Richard. So now we got uh, one of the menu thingies on the right. We cannot see it right now because we need to talk to Timothy. Are you by chance Timothy of Gladstone? Yes, I am Timothy. And who might you be? I am Kieran. King Richard has sent me to retrieve the Ruby of Truth from Sir Roland. One of the Dark Army spies has a mask or something. She's become a shape oh, and apparently threatens the kingdom. Scotia, she is the most evil woman alive. I heard that she had hired the excavators, but I never dreamed she'd actually find the mask. Well then, Kieran, let's go now. I'll get my things together and meet you outside. And done. I learned... Ooh. I learned that from a speedrunner and it makes it easier to handle until White Tower where nothing can help you. Oh god, I hope I'm never gonna get to the White Tower. <laughs> oh no, the fucking fireball chickens and the fucking, like, the ghost in the hi highest level. I'm not even gonna spoil anything. <laughs> uh. There's the last thingy. I am pleased to join you, sir. All I have is at your disposal. Heck yes. We have Timothy. And the very first thing we are gonna do with Timothy is that I'm gonna steal his equipment. And he will have the lesser equipment. Which we're gonna keep that. There we go. Also, notice the fact that Kieran cannot have shoes because he's a cat. Get it? Because he's a fucking cat. Also, make sure to not use your basal cups. 
using basal cups is basically illegal. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so now that we have two people, the combat is like 8 million times easier. It's okay, I played Eye of Beholder on my streams before. I know how to do, how to do the sword dance. Bzzp. Bzzp. <sighs> Games were so much simpler back in the day. That ba that snake is a bane of oh oh my god oh my god again I don't want to like spoil it because like there's probably gonna be people later on watching this on YouTube that like have never actually seen this game but like yeah if i ever get to white tower <laughs> no no like that entire area is just cancer oh this is gonna be important because later on we are gonna be fighting enemies that need like maces to be destroyed also move to healing. Not the basal cup. Orc! Oh jeez, that's a lot of orc. Oh Jesus, this is bad. Pincer attack! Ah! Oh Jesus, so many orcs. <gasps> oh no, he's dead. Kieran is dead. Oh no. Oh my god, I don't remember. I think I can just rest and it will get, get him back. Oh, not yet. That's the shop. Okay, okay. I'm gonna save this on ouch. Can we just rest? Oh shit, it's not gonna bring him back and we don't have the heal spell yet. God damn it. Um, Aloe. <gasps> He's like, oh my god, I'm alive! <laughs> He's like, oh Jesus, what happened? Kieran, can you tell me about the afterwar afterlife? Um, no. There's nothing. Oh god, there's nothing. Okay. Now this dude. Is this what smells? This this dude here. That's the biggest muskrat I've ever seen. This dude here is important. <laughs> Hello, well, come on in. I'm Buck. Here to trade. To show me what you got or what you want. Oh, this guy is like the best voice acting. I'm a natural man, you know. Never bathed a day. Never been mosquito bit neither. Oh God! Are you eating lizard tripe? Yep, I don't usually cook it though. Oh my God! Okay, so what we want is this. Would you sell that? Sure, a hundred crowns. For one hundred crowns. Uh, I, 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 we need we need to get a hundred crowns. It's extremely important because we need to give a range weapon to Kieran. So long. Watch out for the orcs. Watch out for the orcs. Also, look at how big the level is becoming. And this is actually small, like, later on the levels get ridiculous. Nothing? <laughs> Time to kill more monkeys. They are not monkeys, they are orcs, goddammit. <laughs> Orc. Oh Jesus, speaking of Orc. Uh. 
There we go. There's a couple swarms. Nothing there. They look like monkeys. That's racist. Oh, I, I wanted to I wanted to save, but I accidentally attacked. It's like me playing Dark Souls again, you know, accidentally attacking NPCs. Oh, is it this forest where there's like a lot of invisible walls, or is that a different forest? Yeah, there's a forest in this game, but there's like 8 million invisible walls. That's another forest, okay. See, it's, it's kind of funny because I've not played this game in, like, probably decades now. At least one decade. Oh, we, we don't want to go there just yet. That is, that is the manor. That's gonna be our first boss fight right there. Nope, we want to go somewhere else first, for the love of God. I'm sorry, Frank, but your walls are in another forest. God damn it! Uh, oh, by the way, Wolfie, do you by any chance know someone who knows how to stream from a Switch? At this point, internet has not exactly helped me, and I'm like, I'm I'm now going down the path of randomly asking people. the levels. Ooh, Kieran is almost level 2 fighter. Also, notice that Timothy is like level 3 fighter, you know, he, he, he just has the levels now. Was he not even defending anything? Oh god damn it. If you have the funds, a capture card. I have a capture card. But probably not a good one, like... Everyone is saying that, like, you cannot use an Aver Media for a Switch. And that's the a capture card I actually have. Okay, let's go back to Bugs and see if I have enough money to buy me a bowl. Welcome, Welcome back. back to Bugs! Mm -hmm. Yeah! <laughs> I'm not really interested in buying Oh, that. come on, dude! Dude, my dude, man, yo. I'm not really interested in buying that. Holy shit, he he's not buying anything. What a dick. Do you buy a stick? I'm not really interested in buying that. I'm not really interested in buying that. God damn it, dude. So long. Watch, Watch out, out for the orcs. None. You have the coin after the next dungeon. I know, I just do not want to go into the manor without a proper weapon. <laughs> oh, that's bad. That's bad. I don't want to go there because I know there is this really powerful dude there. Like, the, like basically the first boss. And my god, he will, he will wreck me because I suck. Like, there's definitely like a level of skill that you need for this game. Which already makes this game so much better than something like Isle Beholder. What happened? Someone has attacked. What fiends would slaughter a poor defenseless animal? Oh no, they killed a dog! Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Now we know they are truly evil. Okay. Time to focus. Ork! Oh, that was quick. Okay, let's rest. So this is probably the most common tactic in this game. You just go in, kill something, go out, rest, and you repeat forever. Ork! Still not level 2? 
Also, I love the change of music in here. The only dog in the game, and it's dead. I think the game is kind of trying to. Wow. Whoa. Must be some clumsy orcs. Did someone just open a door? I didn't know. <gasps> Orc! Holy shit, Kieran is getting better at this whole murder thing. Okay, let's go back. Oh, did you see that fucking arrow that literally just flew past me? Holy shit, these fuckers. <laughs> oh no! Wow, did, did, did Timothy just one-hit this dude? What a shame this was ruined. <laughs> There we go. It's not like Daggerfall where you leave a dungeon by accident and uh, have to re-kill everyone. Is that how Daggerfall works? I don't remember that. Okay, we need to go back. We need to heal up. Now, the good thing is, now... Kieran has 37 hit points. He actually, okay, on level 2, he has more uh, hit points than Timothy on level 3. This is the power of, uh, this is the power of Kieran scaling. Unity remake does. How is that good coming along anyway? Is it like uh, finally done or is it gonna take like more years? <laughs> Senseless destruction. Senseless destruction. Someone has been burning parchments. Yeah, I wonder why. Senseless destruction. I would love to play some Daggerfall. Daggerfall is like one of my favorite games of all time. Clear the fireplace again. Okay. Hey, this one is only half burned. Holy shit! This is gonna save in case it's like read and die. Richard, my research indicates imperative that you're uh joined with the Ruby. Combat the Nether M. Hmm, interesting. I I'll be honest, I don't think I've ever done that. Oh, all the others are destroyed. Holy shit, General Bass! I we own this game ever since it came out, and I've never... Both me and my my father, holy shit, we, I, I don't think we've ever... Wow. That's... Holy shit. <laughs> I love streaming. I love streaming. This is... Oh my god. <laughs> Seven years bad luck for some poor orc. Orc. The window's broken. Oh, Kieran is so funny. I love him. Yeah, so these are oils. Uh, those are basically time limit extenders. Uh, for the for the dungeons, basically, that need oil. These scones are firmly attached. I think you mean sconces. God damn it, Timothy. Uh, the fate spawn, the duplication puzzle. Oh, I think I actually kind of remember the duplication puzzle when I get when, when I get to it. Like uh, you have to like you have to use the spell of hand of fate, and you have to like poke those um, like energy thingies, those like uh, wisps into these like areas where they start power this machine and then you put the best weapon in the game in there and you duplicate it so that Bacata can dual wield the most powerful weapons in the game also music died music are you okay what happened 
Yeah, yeah, music just. Ooh, there's a button. Wait, I've already pressed that button. Ignore me, I'm stupid. Oh, is this where the boss is? I wonder who that was. Hmm. Anything on the map? Well, I know where the boss is. Oh, 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 oh. oh no. That's gonna be bad. That's gonna be bad. Time to prepare the healing. Not the basal cup, that's good for later. And you can have a real hand of fate spell beside the, the gauntlet thing. Yeah, I know. Uh, I know there is actually actual a spell called the hand of fate. I just don't remember how you exactly get it. Oh god, look at him. Oh Jesus fucking Christ, look at this. Look at this monstrum. This creature of death. You small, what you? You shall perish by.